Is that my screen visible, ma'am? Uh, Narit? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, very good afternoon to uh, everyone. Uh, so I welcome you all to uh, this certificate course on professional documentation and presentation skills using MS Office. So, so far you have a better understanding on, uh, you know, overview about various tools like uh, MS Word, MS PowerPoint and MS Excel. So now I'm going to uh, give a brief, uh, you know, introduction and as well as some other uh, functions involved in MS Excel. Okay. So how many of you have uh, used or handled the software MS Excel? Anyone? No, I'm getting some response. Lalit, I've used. Okay, Lalit, for what purpose you have used? I think the last semester we have given some assignment. That purpose or what? Uh, for uh, data, sir. For data collection. Okay, uh, data collection, manipulation, storing of data, yeah. do some basic operations like addition, subtraction, something like that. Okay, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, so many students, I mean, other uh, students, I mean, you people have used this uh, software to do some manipulation like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, something like that. But in this, you know, certificate course, we are going to study about, you know, how to uh, use the function like uh, we look up statistical function, logical function. So all those, you know, adv advanced commands. So you are going to uh, uh, come to know about all those, you know, advanced command uh, which can be used in MS Excel. Okay, so these are the flow of content. I'm going to, uh, yes, I'm going to teach you. Uh, that is introduction to MS Excel applications, creating workbooks, navigating workbooks, entering text numbers and uh, working with the dates. And uh, at last we have page setup and print options. Okay, so introduction about MS Excel. So you all know uh, better, I mean, uh, what is MS Office and uh, when it is developed. But MS Excel has been developed in the year 1985, and uh, it is a part of MS Office, uh, Microsoft Office Suite softwares, and it is an electronic spreadsheet with numerous rows and columns uh, used for organizing data, graphically represent those data, and performing different calculation. So when I say calculation, it means uh, that any calculation that is addition, subtraction, uh, you know, uh, multiplication, division. So any uh, calculation you do. Uh, which in also includes uh, like logical operations, if statement, all statement, okay, those things. So it also include all the other uh, function also, okay. And it consists of various rows and columns, that is 10,48,576 rows and 16,383 columns, okay. So this I will tell you, okay, what is mean by cell and all those things I will uh, give, you know, in the coming slides. Uh, and Excel is a convenient program, uh, is a program which allows the user to create large spreadsheet. Why it is, you know, uh, you tell me one thing, why Excel, I mean, what is the advantage of using Excel? Okay, when compared to uh, PowerPoint or Word document, what is the biggest advantage? Anyone? Calculations are made simple. So you can do calculations, sir, I've been swimming, yes. You can do numerical calculation, mathematical, logical, all those things in the MS Excel software. But in the case of uh, MS Word or MS PowerPoint, can you able to do that calculation part? Whether that uh, software is designed in such a way that you can do any kind of calculation? Yes, sir. No. Yes, anyone? Lalit? Sir? Uh, I mean, I'm asking whether uh, MS Word or MS PowerPoint is designed in such a way that they, uh, the software can, uh, you know, uh, do my numerical calculation by itself. Not, sir. No, whether, I mean, you are going to copy and paste it in a document that is Word document, or you can present the data using presentation that is PowerPoint. So that, that can be, I mean, we can visually present the data to others. But in case of Excel, you can do calculation. The software will do some calculation. Okay. Only thing is you have to know the command. Okay. Command in the sense whether uh, you have to add now, what is the command you have to give for that uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication. Okay. So also one of the, another advantage is you can create uh, many spreadsheets in a single workbook. Okay. I will tell you what is spreadsheet and workbook in the coming slide. Okay. Now you can, you know, uh, come, you'll just understand that 
uh, you can create multiple that is n number of spreadsheets okay in a single file okay so that you can store more amount of information okay and at the same time what are the advantages general advantage of using ms excel you have any idea you can store information you can uh, manipulate any other data i mean advantages anyone what are the advantages of uh, ms excel yes anyone see there is boundary to the amount of data you can a single spreadsheet okay wow. so uh, when, when, as i said earlier like you can store like uh, 10 lakh 48570 are there in a single spreadsheet okay so in a single spreadsheet this much number of column and of uh, rows uh, okay so when you have such numbers you can store many i mean huge amount of data okay which can readable and uh, recognizable and you can uh, retrieve the data you want and you can transfer the data you want so that kind of you know flexibility is there in msx okay in case of word and doc i mean powerpoint you have that kind of flexibility flexibility of course you have but the time it takes to process the data with people okay in the case of powerpoint or ms word so in, in, if you are using ms word to store the data uh, when, and when the document size is like large and uh, you have uh, 300 pages, what will happen? Yes. Ari, anyone? Yes. You have large yes, data. See, uh, this word, uh, you have a large it is stored in the ms word document for example 500 600 pages are stored we have uh, so much stored in a, a single document i mean word document so when you open the document or process the file what will happen rumba faster irukuma illa vandu easier i mean rumba slow a irukuma that is what i am asking is it very easy to handle the kind of uh, you know large data in uh, ms word or powerpoint Yes. Arik, Arik, can you able to hear? Ariaran? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lalit. It will take some time, right, to save the data or you know analyze the data in MS Word or uh, PowerPoint. Whenever you edit something and save the document, it will take some time. But not in the case of MS Excel. Okay, wow. It will, it will do uh, you know multiple operation very rapidly okay that is a, a very uh, huge advantage okay well, using ms excel software and what about the format sir when you save the file it will be saving in the uh, extension like dot xlx or dot xlsx okay this extension is quite old okay if you are having older version of ms excel the data which you stored will be in the format like this dot xlxs okay wow. So if you are having a very recent for, format, I mean, recent version like uh, 2019 or 2017, then the format will be .xls, okay? So far, you have any doubt, uh, Lalit? Anyone? No, sir. No? Okay. So why uh, civil engineers should have a knowledge on MS Excel? You tell me, because you people are going to become a civil engineers in future. Why should a civil engineer should know about MS Excel? Is there any requirement or uh, just for knowledge we can know about this? MS Excel. For taking surveys. For taking? Come again. For noting down the survey values. Uh, okay. Uh, while surveying, we are using, sir, Abdin Ring. Okay. Any other answer? Only for surveying, huh? Sir, for traffic. Uh... Ah, okay, sir. I'm collecting yeah. traffic data from uh, you know uh, uh, by taking the field. You collect the data from traffic amount of uh, traffic that is going on. Okay, that I know. Okay, any other date? Any other application? Sir, project scheduling. Project scheduling. Okay, very good. Project scheduling. Also planning. Okay, planning. Any other application? Sir, for maintaining bills and uh, graphs. Very good. Uh, maintaining bills and graph. Graph. What do you mean by graph? Uh, sometimes uh, 
data we analyze panumbodhu we use graph la sir okay you are going to present the data in the form of graph so oh. in that case you can use okay so billing um, planning scheduling uh, surveying quantities all those things you told which is absolutely right okay so i'm going to show you what are the various applications in civil engineering what are the some of the application okay the very first application is quantity surveying okay so what do you mean by quantity quantity surveying yes you people have some knowledge right or bit konjo irukum la quantity surveying na enna or idea irukum la yes anyone what quantity survey you will do actually yes anyone cost estimation very good cost estimation so cost na what do you mean by cost i mean uh, what are the uh, ex expense that incurred in the project when you take a project you will have a various uh, list of works right uh, starting from excavation till plastering beam column slab concreting so various uh, item of work is there okay so in the mari uh, works ella vandu you are going to uh, you know uh, uh, enter the data in the excel and you are going to manipulate and do you know prepare the boq or rate analysis so and so okay so in quantity surveying you will do rate analysis you know what is mean by rate analysis rate analysis rate analysis what do you mean by that maybe in the final year students you will study that in uh, estimation uh, subject so rate analysis is nothing but for uh, you know i'm going to find out a particular rate okay for for for, for a given item of work for example excavation excavation ku how much amount it will require okay what together uh, materials and uh, uh, manpower so rendu thu set per meter cube ku how much rate it takes so you are going to calculate that okay with the help of ms excel also you have another another application like you have you, you people have create i mean uh, you people asked to prepare the boq so you know what is mean by boq bill of quantity bill of quantity cs yes, very good in uh, tendering stage uh, in a pre planning stage you will be uh, asked to you know prepare the boq let us uh, list of items of works that is in the project and you will prepare the boq and send to the uh, send it to the contractor or publishes that and the contractor will quote the rate and finally uh, the contractor uh, you are going to choose Uh, will be awarded the project okay that is how it works so first i mean first and foremost uh, application is quantity survey in quantity survey you have rate analysis and boq okay the next step is uh, that, that is next application is project billing so you people have said uh, billing sir abin so you what do you mean by billing uh, nowadays people are asking you like vacancies in billing engineer abin solranga so what do you mean by what is the role of billing engineer Yes, Lalit. How much is the quantity of the item? How much? Quantity, yeah. Uh, bill. Sorry. Bill. Uh, ah. What? Ah, uh, what is the cost of the item, and how it is available? Ah, cost of the items, or you can say cost of the materials you are going to use. see uh, or project eduthuko from start to end you will be purchasing materials from different different vendors right steel are kodum uh, cement uh, sand from different different vendor correct ah so in the in the ella materials so vaangringa from uh, different different person okay different different company or uh, vendors so when you buy things you have to have some record right uh, you have to prepare the bill and uh, have the record edhukku uh, indha record la prepare panni store pannanum what is the purpose make estimate of the project ah very good uh, while executing the project you have to know what is the expense that have incurred actual expense because you have already planned it some budget okay budgeted expense prepare pani vechirukka like this is my cost of the project that is a planned the budget is 10 crores but the actual expense might increase or decrease okay that you can track using this project billing okay well, billing adukku dhaan billing engineer is required for a construction site okay and the third application is preparation of detailed and abstract estimate can anyone tell me what is this detailed and abstract estimate what is the difference yes no idea yes anyone 
detailed estimate abstract estimate you know what is estimate right you are going to estimate the quantities or cost that is required for each item of work so detailed estimate la enna irukum so quantity cost ella ellame potrukkaradhu detailed estimate cost irukuma detailed estimate yes sir am again cost irukuma yes sir no yes sir no uh, detailed estimate la you will be preparing the i mean you are okay. you will be finding the quantities that is length width height height uh, height uh, which is equal to quantity that is meter cube or meter square whatever so you'll be finding the quantity alone okay in the detailed estimate in the abstract estimate what you will do adu vandu last process ellame mudichittu final ah cost related ah varam ah yes detail estimate mudichittu then adoda particular quantities irukum la earth work excavation is 30 meter cube or uh, pcc 40 meter cube appdi ne neenga arrive pandringa you are preparing some estimate adoda corresponding cost ne neenga enter pandringa in the abstract estimate okay va can you able to imagine what i'm saying for worker ka the worker ka you are finding out the quantity in the detail estimate and in the abstract estimate you are going to uh, enter another column which is having rate per meter cube okay va wow. if or meter cube ko le rate abindrathu ning fix pandringa okay 50 rupees abindha then your quantity is 100 meter cube so 100 into 50 that is your total cost for that particular item of work understood ah this you can prepare in ms excel okay engineers are doing this okay adanal dhaan na present pandra ms excel is been used i mean uh, uh, i been used widely in different different sectors and domain like this okay and the fourth one is preparing the budget and cash flow statements cash flow statement have you ever heard of this term cash flow cash flow cash flow anyone how much money is spent on this how much money is spent on on the material sir the transaction sir the money that very is good. spent and received ah very good transaction money that is spent and received adha nama enna nu solluvom cash inflow cash outflow solluvom correct ah spend on the cash outflow money receive ayirundha then it is inflow okay va how much cash inflow and cash outflow have taken uh, uh, take place in the company okay va in the project so on the project level cash inflow cash outflow calculate pandreenga that is comes under cash flow statements okay va also one more thing uh, in the previous semester uh, finally students might know this you i have shown that balance sheet how many of you remember that balance sheet paathirkeengala balance sheet yes say yes or no da there is nothing wrong in saying yes or no balance sheet balance sheet every company every project will have a balance sheet okay uh, i'm talking about a huge large company okay large projects so you will have a balance sheet they will ask to prepare the balance sheet uh, for e- every month okay so every month you will prepare a balance sheet there you will have uh, cash flow statements like uh, how much money spent on uh, equipments how much money spent on materials cement sand etc and how much money spent on labor so like that they have a different different category and uh, in the each category you will have cash inflow and cash out okay ba can you able to understand what i'm saying or i'm going so f- anyone yes sir. lalit yes i yes sir can uh, will you sir. yeah so next uh, application is fifth one that is preparation of bar bending schedule what is this bar bending schedule have you ever uh, Word of it, word of this word, bar bending schedule. What is this all about? What you people will do uh, in this step or in this domain? Hey, can anyone tell me what is bar bending schedule? What you will be you will be doing? Yes. Anyone? No idea. Sir, 
see bar bending schedule uh, what is the purpose now uh, uh, what you people will do in this uh, you know bar bending schedule engineers will calculate the reinforcement shape okay uh, reinforcement shape cutting and bending length okay wow. bending length in the sense how much uh, bend it will it will take okay from 60 to uh, 90 degree or 30 to 40 degree something like that you will be calculating that manually in the ms excel software and you will be finding the uh, length of the bar okay required for a particular uh, work okay so you will cut panano bar you will bend panano you will be studying that in bar bending schedule you will be doing that in bar bending schedule okay wow. total length of the bar you will okay for that column or beam or slab whatever okay and uh, the fifth one that is sixth one is detailed progress report this one uh, you may not know so this is like whenever you are working in a site engineer okay in a site management site engineer job in the future you will be asked to prepare the dpr okay dpr na nothing but detailed pro progress report so in the end na dpr is nothing but the expenses that take place in the project for example today uh, from morning what are the works that have in place in the project site okay wow. so other need calculate pandra okay for example uh, they have done thing work they have done uh, they are completing work you know you are going amount of concreting work they, amount of plastering work they have everything whatever the work you have done in say that particular day and present that in a report that is called as detailed uh, progress report okay in some you know some companies they will say dpr like progress report okay wow. daily Progress report like that they will uh, say okay now the term is detailed progress report okay wow. daily progress report is wrong detailed progress report so last uh, application uh, uh, i'm going to say is project monitoring you oh, what is the scope yes anyone Ari? Sir, uh, uh, this tells about the actual project time and uh, forecasting, sir. Between the forecast and the actual uh, time. Uh, very good. Sir, I'm going to compare the actual amount of work, actual progress versus planned amount of work which I have planned, sir. So, when I compare it, I'm going to plot it in the uh, uh, S curve, sir. I'm going to plot it in the graph, sir. Then, I'm going to say S curve. Okay, usually it will be like this. Something uh, will be like this. So this amount of variance, this we will calculate. Okay, wow. You will have planned or you will have actual. So planned to actual, we are going to compare. Okay, that we can do it in the MS, I mean, MS Excel software. So already, uh, finally, students, you have done some assignments uh, in this uh, problem. Okay, MS, I mean, uh, S curve using MS Excel. So you people have some idea, but second year students, please uh, try to understand what is the importance and the applications in the civil engineering. Okay. So you have any doubt in this applications so far, whatever I said, any doubts, sir, no, yes, anyone, no, okay. So what about this, sir? Uh, just now, uh, a few days back, I came across uh, this vacancy that is in LinkedIn. Uh, so they have given a, a vacancy like uh, junior engineer billing and tendering department. Qualification is BE civil. So experience, they are expecting one to two, 2.3 years. That is all OK. They are specifically mentioned about AutoCAD, that is another software, and MS Excel. OK, so I just uh, showing it to you why this is so important that is the purpose i'm showing this it's very essential that every engineer i mean a civil engineer should know about this uh, software okay at least you should have a basic idea okay at beginner level or some people might expect you to have some uh, you know uh, advanced level uh, you know advanced level in ms excel okay and one more thing uh, one more uh, advertisement like cdm smith you people might have know this uh, company Okay, it is a very good company, CDM Smith. They are asking, I mean, they are asking for a vacancy like geotechnical engineer. And one of the minimum qualification they are asking is MS Word, MS Excel. Okay. 
now you can able to imagine why this software is so important very essential okay so you people might uh, think like edhuk idu avlo important ah abindra maadhiri or thought irukum but not like that you people know how to enter the data do some basic calculation but you don't know how to present the data very uh, 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 presentable to others or you can uh, you know do some logical operations or if analysis something like that okay huge data manipulation all those things you cannot do okay so for that this course will be very uh, useful for you okay so how do you open ms excel software uh, there are three ways to open the software uh, that is uh, first way is to press control r once again okay so in your desk desktop you please uh, press control that is windows r sorry this is not control r that is windows r okay run command okay windows r so when you press that you please enter excel can you able to follow what i'm saying Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you do that, is it opening? Open Arda. It's opening for me. Uh, is it opening for you? Yes. Is it opening? So just uh, click the Windows R button. Okay. Windows R button. Press on it. Just enter Excel. If you do that, it will automatically open the software. Okay, ma. Okay. So that is another way, like uh, method two. Go to search and type enter. That is in the search bar you have an option called search button. Okay, there you can find Excel. So you will have a, a, a application uh, shown here. Excel. You can click and you can directly open that software. Okay. And third method, it it is nothing but you people have known. Okay, from earlier versions, like click start menu. go to all programs there you find the excel software uh, now in my i mean this is a recent version that so that i am i am not having that uh, kind of uh, option here you people can note down and you can do it in your uh, computer if you have any uh, uh, older version okay in the newer version you you won't be finding this kind of option method 3 okay first two method you can uh, try and you can use it so the next step is Yeah. One second. I'll open some sample document. Okay. So this is the uh, sheet you are you are going to get displayed. Okay. So some of you you might have a sheet like sheet one two three three number of sheet. Some of you might have a sheet only one sheet. Okay. Wow. So I'm going to explain each uh, you know uh, uh, options are available in the MS Excel software. Okay. this option whenever at the top uh, at the top uh, row you can find file home uh, insert page layout option uh, formula data review review and help option so this is all together called as ribbon okay va so in M ms uh, you people have come to know about this ribbon is it right yes Uh, can you able to imagine? I mean, uh, understand what is this? Ribbon, ribbon is nothing but this option. Okay, wah. In the bar, clear. Okay, yeah? File, insert, page layout, formula. This is called as ribbon. Okay, wah. And uh, this is called as toolbar. In the top left, tell her, okay, yeah. Quick access toolbar. Okay, this is called toolbar, and this is called title bar. Can you able to see my uh, mouse? Sorry, and uh, anyone else, please respond. can you able to yeah yes, so sir, this yes. is called title bar okay va and uh, what about this sir keela vandu or ready accessibility good to go abdin irukku paarenga can you able to see this one bottom la okay so this bar is called as s bar in ribbon la enna na irukku home the page layout formula data review view help etc okay so all those things you have so i'll just read out what is the function of each tab okay so home tab is used for providing basic facility like changing the font size editing the text uh, yeah, spreadsheet auto some function something like that okay so insert tab is like provides a face, basic facilities like inserting tables images clip parts chart link etc 
okay you, this you can do it in the excel i mean insert tab and page layout is like uh, it will provide uh, margins orientation height and width of the background uh, something uh, like that okay and the formula tab is used for uh, different i mean it involves uh, consists of different uh, formulas and functions which can be used by the user okay just by selecting the cell or range of cells and another tab is data that is data tab which used to perform different analysis like what if analysis and other data analysis uh, uh, you can transpose the column into row and row into column something like that and review tab is to provide a facility of a thesaurus like checking the space spellings of each content or text involved in the uh, I mean, in the content or sheet or translating the sheet and aims to protect the uh, protect or share the worksheet or workbook okay and view tab is to manage the view of workbook showing the ruler grid line freezing the prints and uh, adding in micros macros can you able to see this tab you have variety of option like freeze window view and review an option that you can see spelling thesaurus protect the document in data you can see uh, so much of sorting option filter option formula the different different formula financial logical text date and time so these are the various functions or uh, you know uh, uh, options available in the uh, ribbon tab okay so the very next thing is excel terminologies i'm going to uh, say a few uh, terms okay in the excel sheet so when you open the excel sheet uh, before that i will tell you what how to open the uh, workbook so what is workbook workbook is nothing but when you open the excel sheet uh, go to file sir i am going to uh, create a new uh, sheet sir pudhu sir project create pananum no, abadina you can go to file click open and you can have uh, something like workbook okay va so workbook abadina you know, one option open sorry file new blank workbook can you able to see this go to file click new and blank workbook so if you click this a new work workbook will be created okay va workbook na enna na this is called workbook and under workbook you will have multiple sheets okay va sheet 1 sheet 2 in the bottom can you able to see hari so yes, this yes. sheet is called as worksheet okay va or file la and the file create paninga na then then that is called as workbook and then the particular workbook la you will have multiple worksheet yes understood what the, what is the difference between workbook and worksheet purida when you open a file uh, you know uh, that is called workbook okay va on the particular file so on the file ulle you can create a, n number of sheets so that is called worksheet okay like Uh, like a creating like this uh, plus button so you are creating uh, multiple sheets in the single workbook okay va puridha hari hari lalit yes sir yes okay so this is how you create a workbook okay and uh, in workbook i mean in ms excel whatever the data you are going to enter you are going to enter in the single cell okay uh, this is called as cell a cell is consist of rows and columns okay va nam beginning la sonna first slide la a row is consist of rows i mean cell is consist of rows and columns can you able to see this uh, particular cell which is highlighted in the box like this okay the address i mean each cell will have a unique address okay so in when i select this uh, the displayed as a4 va whenever you cell, it will show the Okay, this is called as address. Each cell will have a unique address. Okay, ma. For example, I'm selecting this particular cell. Uh, if you go and see this, this is called. Uh, this is showing like D9. Okay, ma. This is called as cell reference. I've been telling you. Cell reference. Okay. And it starts with a letter. Okay. And ends with a number, followed by number. So always column or clear. That is D and rows. La vande. Okay. Together, as a particular cell. load a reference on d9 understood huh? understood and this is called a name box and it's called formula bar please note down this bar is called as formula bar okay by in the place of formula okay 
formula i'll just show formula r okay that's okay corresponding our left hand side called name box can you able name box cells oda cell oda one this number okay unique it ago okay so can you can you tell me cell reference for this particular cell yes tari sir yes the uh, classroom what did you ask sir see in the cell irukku liya adoda enna kekkra selecting this cell see ari uh, anyone puri da uh, second day student here students yes ashwadini emo yes see if it any cell draw for select pandra in the cell okay the cell is consist of i mean consist of a, a rectangle so, okay in the rectangular box solvanga and each cell take address and the address will be at you see horizontal i mean uh, column so it is in the eighth and seventh uh, row okay wow. so it is uh, the is a7 okay wow. cell code unique address irko this it shows b7 so in the cell keep putting na c7 so it is d7 okay wow. actually i am asking you the cell reference for this purida am purida sir screen slow up now this come again please please come this is the most slow go come again ari what is the problem this is screen will move slow up more again oh present panna moda okay okay now it is okay la excel dana open a irukku ah yes sir it's okay sir Ah, okay. What is the address? I mean, cell F11. F11. So, in the map, when you choose, when you want to give unique number, address you create a reference. You can see it in the name box in the left hand side corner. Lah, that is called name box. Okay. So, in the bar, when the refer, I mean, uh, formula bar. Okay, ma? Formula bar. So, I'll come. I will repeat. Okay, once again, this is called ribbon. These are ribbons. So, you want. And this is name box. This is uh, uh, formula bar. And this bottom. பார்ட் இருக்கு இல்லையா இந்த பார்ட் வந்து ஸ்டேட்டஸ் பார் ஓகேவா ஸ்டேட்டஸ் பார் அப்படினு சொல்வாங்க ஓகே and uh, you know what is cell now so workbook worksheet formula bar status bar tool bar everything you know okay and what about active cell active cell is nothing but when you select any cell okay edavadhu cell la na click pandren let me say i'll create something like this serial number uh, box then sorry wait so in the mari edavum create create panitte i'm just clicking any particular cell uh, then it is called as active cell okay va indha ma green color la theriyuda outer la so idhu active cell appadina inga edha select pandriyo that is called as active cell okay uh, that is what shown in the ppt and uh, yes cell reference na enna theriyum each cell will have a unique address Uh, that is column letter followed by row number okay va you know how to create workbook how to create work spreadsheet yes so idu create panna theriyumla how to create spreadsheet go to bottom in a single uh, workbook you will have a option like this sheet 1 abdin irukum and sheet 1 pakkathula plus symbol iruka uh, can you able to see plus symbol ஏ சாரி எஸ் ஆர் நோ ஏதா சொல்லுங்க ஆ எஸ் சார் ஆ இருக்கு நான் கிளிக் பண்றேன் ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் கிளிக் திஸ் 
sheet will be created and uh, you can move the sheet like just click that click on it and choose on it move on it okay you can able to move the sheet okay wow. and you can also rename the sheet suppose can you can rename it okay quantity quantity uh, I'm renaming into detailed estimate something like this likewise you can able to rename double click on rename option varo, okay um, start in the mari panla also you have another option like you just right click and you can choose that tab color okay well, you can choose any color if you want uh, i'm choosing orange and uh, here i'm choosing uh, blue color something like this okay well. so in the option la irukke just explore that option okay suppose uh, i'm entering some data in sheet 5 okay well. Uh, or else uh, abstract in which okay abstract and I enter under data uh, for the namesake I'll just enter some data okay the data and enter under okay just example so I'm I should able to protect this data by I can send the data but no one should edit this okay well, I should protect this data only viewable form that are edit you can just right click that option right click that uh, sheet uh, there you have a option called protect sheet can you able to see this option ah, yes yes there is ah the click on click on na you will it will ask like password to unprotect the sheet abin recommend so you just give any password i am just giving 1 2 3 4 as a password okay ba? so just click okay and it will ask to confirm the password again you click the, give the password 1 2 3 4 okay so now uh, you cannot enter the data only you can view the data so, the Mario data, okay, any uh, data, uh, I cannot edit. For example, I'm just clicking, uh, writing something like it will show a message like this a chart you are trying to change is on protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet, uh, then you you might be asked to enter the password. So, the okay, could it the end up on no? If you want to edit Abdina, again, you have to go right click, unprotect the sheet, again, you enter the password, click okay. Only then it will, uh, you know, uh, unprotect. That is, you can edit the data. Now we can edit the data, like uh, quantity estimation. Understood, huh? Any doubts? Yes, in this? Yes. So, so, we have to protect the sheet. Protect under the. Suppose, if you are not able to edit the data, then you will get the problem. 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 You know, in that situation, you can do uh, this thing. Okay, protect panla. Yaro vandu edit panna kora the data vandu. You can edit out. Abhi na chala. You can edit. I mean, protect the data. Okay. So this is what. And uh, in order to insert the uh, sheet, one option is you can click this plus button, or else you can go for right click, go to insert. There is a thing called worksheet. Abhi no option trukhe. Click OK. Inkyum create ago. So there are two ways okay, to create a worksheet. That is plus pani kudunga or else right click pani insert kudu. Okay. Insert kudu thing na you can create a worksheet. So there are two ways to open the um, create a worksheet. And if you want to delete the director delete option to you can delete. Okay. Wa. Also you have option like a redo option. That is undo button. Control Z. Abdin kudu thale. Yes. Undero. Okay. Sorry. Yes. So whenever I enter the data, okay, and I'm just deleting the data, when I redo it, it will come again, okay. It is, this is all you know, cut, copy, paste, redo, everything. It's a basic thing across all uh, softwares. So, okay. You know this formula bar, sorry, huh? status bar, I told you. Navigating, okay. Uh, session one of the last topic is navigating the worksheet, or na navigating workbook. It is nothing but navigating now. How do you move around the sheet? Okay, wow. Well, if you uh, move, what are the uh, shortcuts are there uh, to move across the sheets? Okay, wow. Well, for example, you have a content like this. I just open it. Okay, sample data. Okay, wow. Well, for explanation for purpose. Okay. So I have a data like this. I want to move. Okay, without the help of mouse. First option, I try. Okay, just read the PPT. PPT visible? Arka? Is it visible now? Okay, so by using arrow keys, you can move around the you around your worksheet. 
arrow keys you know right uh, up or down side arrow marker ke liya so arrow mark move pani na you can able to move can able to see this move agad theri da the green color button so the click key la can move down okay so idella vand arrow mark la move panikalam okay suppose second option par you you can also use the tab key to move across the page to the right one cell at a time suppose i want to move sir by without uh, entering that uh, uh, you know arrow key illama vera mari move pannom appadina you can just click uh, tab key okay tab enter pannunga you select any cell and you plus you mean you press tab tab press pannina you will it will move uh, to the right side okay va tab motto press pannu okay it will go on like this tab so in the beginning i told you right uh, in the evlo columns evlo rows irukum appdi sonna correct ah 10 lakhs uh, 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 rows and uh, some 48000 68000 uh, columns appdi sonna in the beginning am i right so in the 16000 column and 10 10 lakh 48 Uh, thousand something uh, rows irukku liya adhu dhaan in the rows and columns okay va ivlo rows irukku when you go across the sheet it will go on okay poite irukum adhe andha mari avlo data irukku appadina andha data la move panna mudiyadhu avlo sikrama okay va unoda excel sheet la so in that case ipo na solrala navigate pandra option adhu dhaan use pannanum can you able to understand what i'm saying so you have a data like this huge amount of data okay uh, from a to uh, something like this இந்த மாதிரி இவ்வளோ காலம்ஸ் இருக்கு இவ்வளோ ரோஸ் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா இன் தட் சென்ஸ் இன் தட் கேஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் வாட் எவர் ஐம் சேங் நவ் ஓகே நேவிகேட் பண்ணுறது அப்படின்னு ஓகே செகண்ட் த தேர்ட் ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் ஷிஃப்ட் கி ஓகே ஷிஃப்ட் ப்ளஸ் டேப் கி ஸோ எதுக்கு அப்படின்னா டு மூவ் த டு மூவ் டு த லெஃப்ட் ஹேண்ட் சைடு சப்போஸ் ஐம் ஹேவிங் எ செல் லைக் திஸ் ஓகே இந்த எண்டில் இருக்கேன் ஐ வாண்ட் டு மூவ் to the left hand side abadina shift tab press pannunga shift tab press pannina you can able to see the left uh, i mean it moves around the left, uh, in a left hand side okay va can able to see yes sir arrow mark paathu adukapra tab ipo shift plus tab okay va so adutha option that is um you can go to page up and page down keys page up and page down for example i am having a sheet indha mari or sheet irukke okay 100 rows irukke okay so inge irukke inda inga na press pandren cell la okay you just uh, press home key sorry page up page up kudutingna automatically enna agudhu it will go up adhe page down kudunga page down just select sorry page down kudutingna can you able to see page up and page down or single page it will move up and down move agda page up page down is yes, anyone you people are trying right uh, in the laptop or system yes say yes or no that is all okay yes try pandringla yes are hi yes sir okay so another option you have is uh, you you can hold the control key and press the home key okay edukna for example you just see this i'm here okay in the bottom la iruken or anywhere in the bottom la iruken let's go control and home kudunga kudutingna it will go to the top end சப்போஸ் இந்த மாதிரி பெரிய டேட்டா இருக்கு பெரிய ஷீட்ல இருக்கீங்க சம்வேர் எல்ஸ் இந்த டவுன் ஓகேவா ஒரு வாட்டி உன்னால ஸ்க்ரால் பண்ண முடியாது கே நாட் ஸ்க்ரால் எவ்ரி டைம் ஓகே இட் வில் டேக் சம் டைம் ஓகே இன் ஆர்டர் டு அவாய்ட் தட் டைம் கன்சூமிங் ப்ராசஸ் யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் கிளிக் கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் ஓம் பட்டன் தெரியுதா கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் ஓம் பட்டன் எஸ் எஸ் you doing this control and home button hi yes, sir okay very good so uh, this navigating part you people might have some idea now uh, one more thing i want to say uh, how to select the data sir in the excel sheet in the doubt irukum like so eppadi select pandrad appadina just edha or data eduthuko just i'm taking uh, a data like this okay so i'm just select it or vaati click pannittu just drag okay va drag pannunga so drag up to the 
data in the bottom okay so you drag panna mode you will have a, a status bar paaka mudiyudha can you able to see status bar ah yes sir ah enna irukku pa status bar la etna idu select pannirukinga sir adha enna account theriyudha can you able to see ah yes sir visible ah inga theriyudha average 29200 count vandu 1414 அப்படி இருக்கு அப்படினா என்ன அர்த்தம் அவ்ளோ செல்ல நான் செலக்ட் பண்ணிருக்கேனா புரியதா how much number of cells i have selected அப்படிங்கற டேட்டா உங்களுக்கு கீழ வரும் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் பார்ல ஓகே and some is like basically the sum பண்ணு எல்லா டேட்டாவையும் ஓகே so எல்லாத்தையும் together sum பண்ணீங்கனா இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு நம்பர் வரும் ஓகே ஆட் பண்ணீங்கனா so that is not required but most probably you will be using uh, this you will get info like count in the data and use ஆகும் uh civil engineering so applications la count inter data on kisa etana nama select panirukom abindra or idea kadaikum okay 1414 cells na select paniruken at the time okay and this is how you select the data just click panni drag panna sir na idu varaikum na select pannom sir idu varaikum venna adukku varum okay count varum sum varum okay va okay suppose you select a data like this and etana row etana column abindra venu na you just have an idea okay if you irukum we'll show here can you able to see here in the bottom right 36 rows 14 columns when i increase it it becomes 37 38 so now i drag panna drag panna it will show how much number of columns there how much number of uh, rows are there theriyudha pa in the bottom right yes sir yes sir 101 rows and 14 columns irukke okay so idu da basic thing uh, in navigating la idu da basic things involved in the navigating uh, workbook okay uh, shall i continue with this in the next i mean session next session continue pannalama yes i think one hour is up actually 3:30 shall i continue with that or uh, should i give any break or not certain minutes break sir come again 10 minutes break sir 10 minutes break ah okay so okay you take a break thank you uh, we'll meet again at uh, 3:45 okay ma okay sir thank you thank you pa